Merge sort. Merge sort is an algorithm which sorts a collection of elements. But before we go into how exactly merge sort works, let us understand how to merge two sorted arrays into a bigger sorted array. Once we understand this, we can go and learn how exactly this merge sort is going to use this technique to sort an array of numbers. So first what are we going to learn? How to merge two already sorted arrays into a larger sorted array. So I have two arrays which are already sorted. I want a bigger array which has all the elements of these two arrays and that bigger array should also be sorted. So let's see how we are going to do this. Let me take two examples of sorted arrays. So these are my two arrays. I am writing down the respective indexes. Let me call the first array set1 and the second array set2. Let's keep a pointer for each of these arrays which points to the lowest or the smallest element of each array. So that pointer is going to point to 0 in both cases because it's a sorted array. Now we will have a larger array. The larger array size is going to be equal to the size of the first array plus the size of the second array because we want to finally be able to store all the elements in this larger array. So let me say that this is my larger array which is going to have space for all these elements. So how am I going to start filling in this larger array? That's the question. So first we will check the elements at the indexes of the smallest elements. So I have 1 and I have 3. I will check 1 is lesser than 3. So in this case I'm calling 1 and I'm calling 3. So in this case 1 is lesser than 3. So what I will do is I will remove the element 1 from its array S1 and I will place that element to the end of the larger array. Let's call this S. So I am going to remove from the beginning of the array S1 and I am going to add the element which I have removed from the array S1 to the end of S which is going to be 0. Let's go for the next case. So now I have S1 as there is nothing over here and I have S2 as currently my S looks like this. Now I am pointing to the lowest element of each array. So now I will point to 2, I will point to 3. I will take these two elements and compare them. So I am going to compare 2 and I am going to compare 3. 2 is less than 3. So what must I do? I have to remove from the front of this S1. I remove from the front of S1 the element which I have removed I add to the end of S. So this is our array now. Let's look at the next case.
there is no element here we only have 4 left our main array looks like this now our smallest element in S1 is going to be 4 and our smallest element in S2 is going to be 3. 3 is less than 4 so I will remove 3 from the array S2 from the beginning of S2 and then I will store this 3 to the end of S. Now let's see what our array looks like. Now the smallest element in S1 is 4, smallest element in S2 is 5. I will compare these two elements, 4 and 5. 4 is less than 5, so I will remove 4 from array S1, I will remove from the front of S1 and I will add it to the end of S. So now what do we have? We have arrays which look like this. S1 has become completely empty. S2 still has two elements left. And our main array now looks like this. Now, once either of our sub arrays S1 or S2 becomes over what must we do we don't have anything to compare the S2 elements with in such a case what we must do is we have to include all the elements in S2 we have to add it to the end of S so once either of the sub arrays S1 or S2 is going to get over once it is over that subarray which is not yet over we have to include all the elements of that subarray into the main array so i will remove from the front of s2 first so i will remove 5 i'll add it to the end of s then again to s2 i will remove 7 add it to the end of s as you can see in this way we can get a sorted array so i have taken two already sorted arrays i have used this algorithm Finally, I am getting a larger array with all the elements of these two sub-arrays and that larger array is also in sorted order. This is how we are going to merge two already sorted arrays into a larger sorted array. Once you thoroughly understand this, we can go into how exactly merge sort works.